Hecatumnus of Mylissar or Hecatomnos was an early 4th century BC ruler of Caria. He was the satrap of Caria for the Persian Achaemenid king Artaxerxes II. However, the basis for Hecatumnus' political power was twofold. He was both a high-appointed Persian official and a powerful local dynast, who founded the hereditary dynasty of the Hecatumnids. Biography Hecatumnus was the son and successor of Hysaldomus, a dynastic ruler of Mylissar. It is likely that Hecatumnus had been a supporter of Tisiphonus and might have been employed by him in the subordinate office of Hyparch. At some time after 395 BC Hecatumnus became the first satrap of Caria, which was until then part of other satrapies, usually that of Lydia. The designation of Caria as a separate satrapy was part of a reorganization of Persian power in western Anatolia by Artaxerxes II in the aftermath of Cyrus's revolt. Hecatumnus was the first non-Persian official to be elevated to the position of satrap. He exceeded as satrap perhaps in 394 BC, but no later than 390 BC, when he was appointed by the Persian king to command the naval forces destined to take part in the war against Evagoras I of Cyprus. Isocrates states that he was still ruling in 380 BC. Stephen Ruzica places his death in 377-376 BC. He left three sons, Morsalus, Idrias and Pixodorus, and two daughters, Artemisia and Ada who were married to their brothers, Morsalus and Adrias, all five of whom in turn succeeded him as rulers. Alleged collusion with Evagoras. Two ancient sources, Diodorus and Isocrates, report that Hecatumnus secretly supplied Evagoras with sums of money to raise mercenary troops and was in fact ready to rise against the Persian king. However, Ruzica strongly doubts the veracity of these reports. Indeed, Hecatumnus had not shown at any other time insubordination or disaffection towards the Persian monarchy. Unlike other rebellious satraps, Hecatumnus was not a Persian of noble or royal blood and could not hope to win the allegiance of other Persian officials. Thus, it seems highly unlikely that he would have engaged in treasonous activity without any tangible hope to benefit from it. Ruzica offers two possible explanations for the reports by Diodorus and Isocrates, which must have been based on some contemporary rumors. In both cases he names Evagoras as the likely source of the rumors. Evagoras might have wanted to compromise Hecatumnus in the eyes of his master, Artaxerxes. Later, he managed to engineer the recall and disgrace of another satrap who was campaigning against him. Evagoras might have wanted to create the impression that Hecatumnus was his secret ally in order to impress the Egyptian king Hakor with whom he was negotiating for support against Artaxerxes. From Egypt the rumor could have filtered to Athens through the Athenian general Shabrias who was then serving with Hakor as a military advisor. Coinage Hecatumnus was a native of Mylissar, and made that city his capital and the seat of his government. Hence the figure of Zeus Labrandinos appears on his coins walking and carrying a labrus over his shoulder, from the celebrated temple of that name near Mylissar. Tomb. In August 2010, law enforcement officials arresting individuals believed to be digging for antiquities discovered what Turkish officials believed to be the tomb of Hecatumnus. A marble sarcophagus and numerous frescoes were discovered in the tomb, although officials also believed many relics had already been taken from the tomb and sold on the black market.